Hello guys, you are most welcome again on my YouTube channel and I hope you like this series and if you like this series, please uh, do support this series and uh, it's free of cost. You can uh, share, you can like and you can put a small comment so that uh, the rank of the video will, in will be increased. Uh, uh, so I hope you will try to help in this way. So let's start today's video. We have uh, completed uh, 21 videos and uh, this is the uh, 22nd videos. So let's go ahead. The early renaissance. This is an uh, important chapter. Actually every chapter is important. If we we'll, uh, uh, search for important chapters, we will leave some most important chapters. Okay. So every chapter is important. Every part of uh, literature, whatever is in books, that is important. Okay. There is nothing fixed. So try to study each and everything if you want to clear your exams, whether it is TGT, PGT or your English UGC net exams. So some questions we will be dealing with. First of all, what is Renaissance and uh, from where it is started? Then we will talk about uh, the three periods and uh, it is divided into three periods. Okay, we will talk about that. And then uh, we will deal with what is Renaissance, the question. And uh, then some topics we will go through like uh, the revival of the knowledge of antiquity. And later we can uh, go through the knowledge of the physical world, new discoveries, Renaissance in Germany and Renaissance in England finally. Okay, we will talk about it. So in today's video, let's start this one. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the three periods of English Renaissance. It is divided into three periods. First is the period of preparation. The duration of this time is 1516 to 1558. The period of manhood, second period, 1558 to 1603. It is also called the age of Elizabeth. And uh, you know, ki Elizabeth ki age mein kafi sara jo Shakespeare ka work hai, wo hame mila hai. The Middle Age of Renaissance, it is uh, from 1603 to 1625. It is also termed as Jacobian Age. Isi ko Jacobian Age bhi kehte hain. Aur uh, jaysa ki mujhe comment mein milte hain ki, uh, ki kuch books mein period uh, changes hote hain. So these are, uh, you know, standard uh, duration of the age. The second and the third period from uh, one unit and are called the age of Shakespeare. So you can see the second one is also called the age of Shakespeare. Let's deal with this question. What is Renaissance? The Renaissance was an intellectual rebirth which showed itself the effort of the individual to free himself from the rigid institution of the Middle Ages. And uh, we will come to this one. Uh, Michelin calls it the discovery by mankind of himself and of the world. Now, when we talk about rebirth, so it is our revival of the knowledge. So what kind of knowledge they are talking about? Now, they are becoming free from the, you know, rigid institutions of Middle Ages. So now there is some new knowledge and what they means, what do they mean by uh, new knowledge? Okay, so it came through Italy, like uh, here, uh, here is one statement, the influence of Renaissance reached England quite late. So the question is from where? Kaha se ye Renaissance aya? So Renaissance, rebirth of knowledge comes from uh, Italy. Okay, as late as the end of the 15th century. 15th century ki last lat mein Renaissance aya. Jaysa ki hum abhi pisle lesson tak par chuke We have studied, uh, you know, history of literature to the third chapter and we completed there. So still, you know, till third chapter, what we see there, they were just copying Chaucer and uh, they were imitating Chaucer. Okay, they were not, there was no freedom and there was no, we can say, originality. So here we can see a uh, number of social, political, religious and national forces nurtured and extended in the England just because of this Renaissance. So Renaissance hai kya? Renaissance ek process ka naam hai. Are you getting? Uh, the Renaissance is name of the proce uh, process of getting revival of the knowledge of antiquity like this. 
सो रिवर्स का जो प्रोसेस है उसी का नाम रिनेसा है कि अगर कि कोई किसी को समझने में प्रॉब्लम हो रही होगी इस टर्म को तो रिनेसा है कि एक प्रोसेस का ये नाम है सिंपली नाउ देर इज वन फैक्ट वी शुड नो दैट इफ देर विल बी नो पैटर्न नॉलेज विल यू नो विल बी डिप्लीटेड सो हियर इन इन दिस एज बिटवीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन टू फिफ्टीन फिफ्टी एट there were patterns of learning like uh, king henry 8th was there and uh, when he acceded to throne in england and uh, it became england was a strong nation at that time so what is helping renesa to develop okay ki renesa jo hai wo kaise develop ho raha hai isse pehle kyun nahi develop hua agar ye question aata hai to isko hum isi se samajh sakte hain ki Uh, किसी नॉलेज को यू you नो know, बढ़ने के लिए डेवलप होने के लिए किसी चीज के सपोर्ट की जरूरत पड़ती है और हम देखेंगे कि uh, ये सपोर्ट कौन कर रहे हैं किंग्स आर सपोर्टिंग पीपल टू डेवलप नॉलेज टू प्रिजर्व नॉलेज टू राइट डाउन बुक्स टू राइट टू यू नो राइट ड्रामाज टू परफॉर्म देर आर थिएटर्स आर बींग बिल्ट तो यही सारी चीजें हैं जो हेल्प कर रही है रुनीसा को डिवेलप होने में I hope you are getting this one. Fifteen, uh, the period between here you can see Edward VI ruled from fifteen forty seven to fifteen fifty three, and this was the period. यहाँ जो period ये जो period था उसमें पूरा जो ये एक तरह से religious conflict में पूरी country थी और उन्होंने क्या किया था she Queen Mary from uh, this between fifteen fifty three to fifteen fifty Eight. Okay, she restored Roman Catholicism, Catholicism in England, and more than three hundred Protestants were burnt alive. Creative act activities were arrested during her time, but it was replenished with much greater vigor uh, in the reign of Queen Elizabeth. So, we know that Queen Elizabeth's time, Shakespeare ne, uh, sare, uh, plays were written, and uh, this was the period when uh, they supported. तो जो किंग्स हैं वो सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं ठीक है इन बिटवीन तो यहाँ पे क्लियर एक चीज हमें समझ में आती है कि अगर किंग्स और क्वींस का इसमें इंटरेस्ट है किसी चीज में तो वो चीज वो उस चीज को सपोर्ट करते दे आर सपोर्टिंग द राइटर्स द ड्रामेटिस्ट द नॉवलिस्ट तो नॉवल वॉज नॉट इन्वॉल्व दैट टाइम ये एक मॉडर्न uh, जेनर uh, है तो उस टाइम पे ड्रामेटिस्ट को सपोर्ट कर रहे थे सो दिस वॉज द थिंग uh the most important thing to understand in the discussion the english renaissance covers pretty long span of time as we know and uh, we have talked about the periods you can write down in your uh, notes to understand uh, renaissance this paragraph is very important revival of knowledge of antiquity the revival of classical learning is a factor of immense importance of, in renaissance Italy cradled humanism. Now there is part of uh, humanism now coming to the literature, and uh, the new knowledge of world of antiquity. What had been lost in Western Empire, however, subsisted in the East. When the Turks conquered, this is very important event. Okay, so remember this one. You can make your notes. Uh, Turks conquered the Eastern Empire and captured Constantinople in 1453. Many Greek scholars betook. themselves to Italy with their manuscript वहां से भाग गए जो टर्क्स थे जैसे उन्होंने कन्क्वेट किया ईस्टर्न एम्पायर को और फिर उन्होंने कैप्चर कर लिया कॉन्स्टेंटिपोल सो ये कॉन्स्टेंटिपोल था क्या ये एक प्लेस है जहां पर की सारी चीजों के रिसर्च चल रहे थे ओके ये सारे जितने भी वहां पे स्कॉलर्स ग्रीक स्कॉलर्स थे वो वहां पर थे वो उन्होंने जो मेन्यूस्क्रिप्ट थी होम एसलिस और एसलिस और यूरिप्टिस सोफोक्लिस और अबाउट दीज प्लेटो एरिस्टिटल ओके इन सभी की जो मेन्यूस्क्रिप्ट थी उनको उन्होंने उठाया और वहां से चले गए एंड दे केम टू इटली दैट्स वाई इट बिकेम सेंटर The Middle Ages had been barbarous enough to forget the Greek, and uh, when it was recovered, people grew very excited. The Italian cities became center of Greek, uh, Greek study, and of the classical culture on which the new intellectual impulse was nourished. So you can see here how it is getting developed. और जो पार्ट है वो क्या है रिनेसा के उनको आप देख सकते हैं कि there are some words like humanism. 
आप रेनेसा से रिवर्स ऑफ नॉलेज रिवाइवल ऑफ नॉलेज और ह्यूमनिज्म को कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं आप लोग इसको रेनेसा बिगेन इन इटली विद पेट्राक बकेसियो जेटो एंड निकोलो पेसनो राफेल लियोनार्डो माइकल एंजलो पीस टेला मिरान डोला एंड मैकिया विली एंड मेडिसिस सो दीज आर द नेम्स यू कैन प्रोनाउंस दैम अकॉर्डिंग टू यू और आप इन्हें लिख सकते हैं यू कैन कनेक्ट दीज थिंग्स सो वी आर डिवेलपिंग दिस सेंस ऑफ लिटरेचर विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज यू नो नोट्स Uh, not only in the field of uh, literature and uh, painting we see the revival and reverse but in discoveries also we see here new knowledge of the physical world new discoveries the discoveries of astronomy suggested to explore ab hamare paas astronomy ka jo knowledge hai use hum use kar pa rahe hain explore karne ke liye merchant and possibilities of capturing the fabulous wealth of the east by sailing into the unknown seas now they are uh, discovering more through seas vasco da gama uh, circum navigated the cape columbus uh, and uh, he discovered the new world new world he means to say the india and uh, this part the discovery of gold mines brought new and unimagined possibilities of wealth it created a lust for adventure and desire to attain the unattainable the account of travelers fired the imagination of europe and the roma romance and mystery of the untried sea had a profound influence on the through thought and uh, literature of the period so hopefully this video will give you a little uh, glimpse and uh, as well as in depth the uh, knowledge of renesa how it came into existence and some facts for your english literature so hopefully it helped so if it, you like the video please uh, do thumbs up and uh, share the video bye bye take care See you tomorrow